OMG, y'all, that was so good. I found Jesus on this trip. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I think today will be a quick laundry day. So I'm gonna show you one more breakfast. We're gonna grab breakfast together. Then I'll take care of laundry. Unfortunately, I need to go to a lavandiera, a, a laundromat in order to get that done because they don't have one here in the Airbnb for me. So let's go get some breakfast and then some weekend adventures coming up soon here in Lisbon. All right, y'all, I just walked by the laundromat. All three machines were in use. Three machines, by the way. Is that for like a city few blocks here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it would be the first time for me going to a laundromat. That would be a new experience. Um, I guess we're fortunate in the US to have them in our homes, apartments. Um, you know, I've used like central apartment ones before, but I don't know, down a city block. And what if it rains, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go grab a breakfast here and we'll see if laundry happens later. And a nice view of the water ahead of us as we walk down to our breakfast venue this morning. As you know, plenty of hills here, and uh, it's usually down to get to the water. All right, this morning, seated at zero breakfast. We will give it a shot. Let's go online, so we'll see how it goes. The halloumi pancakes were super unique, so I was thinking about that. I also saw online uh, some sort of uh, sandwich, but I'm not seeing that anymore. It's like an egg sandwich. It sounded kind of special too. Yeah, I don't know. So I guess that decides for us. So, I'm going for those halloumi pancakes. I was thinking about doing the brunch, but I don't need like a cocktail, and I'm like, ah, I don't need all that other stuff, probably. By the way, here's where I'm sitting, kind of against this wall here, interesting kind of table attached to the wall, and they've got the bigger ones over there. But as I'm one, I can sit at one of these little rounds here, and some people are waiting for a seat, so let's see how it is. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, you have the halloumi pancakes. Look at that, the fried eggs on it. There's some bacon going on in there. I think the halloumi is a type of cheese. You've got the avocado as well. Looks great. Certainly unique. We'll dig in and let you know what we think. Oh man, these are really, really good, y'all. I love the blend of flavors in there. Again, uh, your, your avocado and your bacon and your eggs. The sauce, I think it's maybe sriracha mayo. Beautiful in there. Got a cup of water as well, which is nice. I'm assuming that's what that is. <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy the rest of it. Here's a look at the cheese, I believe, baked into the pancake there. I love the cheese right there. Also, I think it's like a maple syrup flavor in there too. It's a really, really good one across the board here. OMG, y'all, that was so good. Love those halloumi pancakes. Fantastic, you know, it's always the hard choice between sweet and savory. It's like savory pancakes. I'm like, all right, let me give it a shot. Wow, love those flavors. Again, the spice in there, just a hint of spice. With your eggs and your bacon, your maple syrup on that, on the, on the bacon, I think. Wow, I, I cannot speak highly enough. Best breakfast I've had, at least in Lisbon. Maybe in the Europe trip. I feel like pretty certainly in the Europe trip, nothing else stands out, comes to mind. Uh, maybe in a long time. Yeah, I recommend. Oh, man, best breakfast in a long, long time. It was amazing. Now for my long hike up the hill here, <laughs> back home. So I came down this way. Challenge is now I gotta go back up. I'm gonna check on the laundromat again, get some work done, and then weekend adventures coming up. Look at that little uh, tile building, though. Nice little tile building across the way, certainly. Beautiful to see all the different styles out here. While we're making the stroll, enjoy a few more beautiful tile buildings. It seems like they're mixed in amongst the other buildings here. You can see those stylings as we go. You know, sometimes the city almost seems unreal. You know, you got these cobblestone streets and then more like the standard pavement. You got these tile mixed in with the regular flat homes. It's just it's a beautiful place. I'm glad to get to experience it here and share it with you. This is a cool looking building here too. Check that one out with the tiles. Uh, it's just so many different types of tiles out here too. And, uh, and so many different styles. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today. Hopefully you can hear me over that bus honking. And we are making our way for a nice full day here in Lisbon. We're gonna see some beautiful sights. Belém Tower, I think. Have delicious breakfast. Maybe another shopping center area. And maybe head out to the beachfront, which is pretty close by. Let's get to it. Trying to race off to the bus now, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, so I can catch it quick and get a full start to the day.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here at Augusto uh, Lisboa in Lisbon. Augusto Lisbon. Here is your little uh, menu here. I looked online, did a little bit of research. Looks good, looks promising. We'll see what sounds good. And I have been informed, real cash, that right next to us is the Casa of the President. It's the President's house right here. So that's an interesting, nice. It's not a white house, it's a pink house here, I guess. All right, y'all. I've decided I'm gonna be healthier today and stick with my ice cream coffee instead of my ice cream pancakes on the next page. We're doing probably brunch. I'm still waiting for it to come back. But again, if you're looking at these, like, okay, 11 bucks, avocado toast at 12. It's like, let me do the toast and try a juice and a coffee, <laughs> ice cream coffee. You'll see what those look like. And the yogurt and banana bread. Well, not banana bread, but yeah. Excited to dig in, let you know what we think. Here is more of that menu. I'm thinking the cremoso. Although the peanut butter latte looks promising too. Cremoso sounds the most unique, right? And a friend here got the orange juice, and it is, it's quite tart. I would say it's, it's tar more tart than you'd expect from a typical, a nice fresh press, but more tart than you'd expect from a typical US OJ, but maybe seasonal too. Ladies and gentlemen, with my brunch, I got the Vitaminas beverage, strawberry, orange, and mint. We'll give it a shot. Cheers to you. Obrigado. I guess I could have gotten something different from you, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and animals and plants, plants invited as well. Take a look, sorry plants, you're, you're kind of involved in the making of this meal, but take a look at this. I was rambling too long. She came over to explain the dishes. So now we've got all the dishes and now here's a bus. All right, bus, bye, bye bus. We have avocado toast here. They have pickled, they have the pickled carrots, they have the cream cheese, they have the sourdough bread. Something is homemade from around here. I don't remember exactly what it was. This is a granola, you got pumpkin jam, uh, pickled, what, what kind of pickled fruit was this? I don't even remember. Soaked in black tea, good, good call, thank you. Thanks to the writer. And uh, anything else I should note that I didn't already touch on here? Homemade granola. Homemade granola, okay, great. What was from here? The the carrot, what? Sumac. Sumac. Homemade right. cream oh, cheese. Oh, okay. Homemade cream Pickled cheese, right? Carrot. Everything's homemade. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it doesn't look like somebody's house, you ask me. But, cool. Very nice. Avocado toast today, very, very nice with the, they got that, I think it's sumac, adding that bit of spice, that flavor in there. So, you know, poison sumac from the uh, the poisonous plant out in the jungle. That's what they put in our food. Just kidding. And uh, it's tasty. Yeah, overall, certainly a good one. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much poison sumac in my... <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, take a look at the cremoso here. It looks delicioso. You can see my straw through there. If you look closely, I thought you could at one point. There, see that? Boom. Yeah, barely. You, you can't really. I can see stuff, like ice, so. It's a transparent cup, so it must be creamy. Just finished up a delicious meal here today. <sighs> Very nice. Delicious cinnamon flavored water, like I say. And nice food all around. Certainly unique blend of flavored options here in Portugal. You have to fit the mood when you are in that new town. So, uh, what was I saying here? Nice cinnamon flavor. Nice they put cinnamon in the water, too. Certainly a tasty. I can see I bit it a little hard there. But um, nice flavors, indeed. Uh, you had the, what was it? You had the um, avocado toast, which was really nice. With that spices in there. I always forget what it is. Uh, it's that poison, not the oak. I, I don't even remember. But the spices were very nice, like cinnamon and those kinds of things. Certainly added to the flavor, indeed. So where was I? Um, nice cinnamon flavor. Uh, yogurt was really interesting. Everything is less sweet here, right? So avocado toast is certainly a winner. It's a nice one. I've had a lot of good avocado toast. So I'm not going to say best ever. Certainly tasty. Yogurt, very unsweetened, very plain. Um, but the pumpkin jam was great. Pumpkin jam tastes as sweet and sugary as you might expect. So that was a nice add in there. And I liked the fruit too, the pickled uh, apple or whatever that was. Tasted almost like a uh, Christmas spice kind of flavor in there. But it was very subtle as well in the yogurt, so not a bad dish for the yogurt option too. The coffee had a subtle pastel donata flavor. The ice cream must have been blended in there very smoothly. Um, not bad, not bad. I'd probably try the other one, like the peanut butter latte, uh, but nice to be able to try that one. And the juice grew on me as well. At first I was like, oh, it's okay. You know, less sweet, of course, orange juice as well as the vitaminas. Less sweet than we might expect in the US, but liked that one more and more as I drank it as well. So nice spot. Another good option for breakfast. Not number one, but certainly tasty. Now, if you'll look around us here, we are making our way to the Belem Tower. And we go by way of this park right here. So if you see beautiful park area, sculptures here around us, 
as we head towards the water in Belem Tower. Orbiting this tower behind us here, you can see a beautiful statue, monument. Don't quite know to whom. Oh, I'm supposed to stop by something else down here too, uh, a walk area. So let me see if I can find that. And then to Belem Tower. This was funny too. I think first time just walking under a billboard like that, it just blocks the sidewalk. But I mean, there's space to walk underneath it. I'm just saying, funny how it covers the entire sidewalk, can't really walk around it. Down this way, I think a monument to some uh, explorers, like people who found America or, or like we're looking around the world, different stuff, heading that way before we head to Belem Tower. By the way, I think that might be the sort of train for us to catch as we head down later. I'm told it's a train we'll take. We'll see how that goes. So there is the Monument to the Explorers, which we will certainly have to go take a look at. And on the other side, you have the Imperial Garden, I believe. So we'll take a quick look over here too, quite frankly. And then we will head over to see the Tower of the Monuments there. But I'm not sure if this is like right behind the President's house here, or if this is part of that, uh, what do you call it, uh, cathedral. Yes, you have the uh, Monastery Geronimo behind it here. So this is, I guess, the little garden area leading up to that. Very, very cool. Maybe we'll grab some photos before we move onward. You can see at the end of this sort of walkway, people getting pictures down those ways as well. People setting up little ends to stop for their photos. It's cool to see this little garden area. A little cool place to stop off. Walk around, walk by before we move onward. Tricky to find this underground walkway. Looks like the way over to the other side of the road. Not sure why they've done it this way, but it is what it is. And here we are, walked under that little portal there, a little under the bridge. You've got the waterfront here, port. You've got the Monument to the Explorers. Beautiful sight. We're gonna get some pictures up there as well. Looks like some people standing at it. I'm not sure if it's a you know, ticketed viewing or, or what that is inside, but I just wanted to take a look at the outside at least. All right, here we are. Coming up close to it, I did look and it looks like it's a ticketed museum. Quite a line for that too. You've got the bridge harbor over that way with a boat, sailboat heading out right now if you can see that one that large mast and i'm gonna get some pictures with the front too i think that's the side to see what a beautiful view right here check out that sailboat out there water and otherwise almost slipped right into the water there myself and uh, if you can hear me over the wind which i hope you can there is the monument to these floors beautiful view inside the building of those explorers pioneering out the water. We'll have to see it. It does not look like you can walk in front of it, but maybe we can walk to the other side. And that is clever. If you take a look at that, you have boats coming to show these people the front side view of the monument of these boats, which makes a lot of sense, right? That's the way to get to it. it almost sounds like some flamenco is happening behind us here, too. Like this male flamenco dancer dancing out there. Maybe it's not cold out here. I'm not even sure, but cool to see that, too. Give you one more quick peek at it. Here is the other side of the Monument of the Explorers. It's so cool to see. They look so close when you uh, are just a few steps away, but then the closer you get, you can see how large they are and how far upwards they go. Really, really nice. So, leaving the Monument of the Explorers behind us, this beautiful waterfront walk behind us as well, or to our side, we head to tours the Belem, Belem Tower. We said to check that one out. And we'll see what the views are like, and see what the monument is like, the museum is like. Let's enjoy it. Cool to see you know, set up some of these food trucks just all along on the water here. It looks like they drive up, they just pull their sign and their tables out of their truck, and then they uh, sell food. It's pretty convenient. And oh no, it's starting to rain. And I think the rain stopped for now. Uh, it seems like the way to get there is cut inland here. At least that's what the maps was telling me. Uh, so I'm gonna go just to this road, then turn on that way, and then go back out to the water. Catch the Belem Tower. Take a look out at the water here. I'm gonna jump in my private boat, sail around a bit, and then hit up the uh, tower. Just kidding. But it seems like a great place for it. You want your boat right up the water. This is a uh, solid spot. You have plenty of options in Portugal, but it's not passing a ticket office here. I think this might be for tours. I'm not 100% sure right along the water here, and we're just about at the Belem Tower ahead. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Lime Tower, I think is how you pronounce it. And just ahead, looks like it's separated by water from all sides, so we'll figure this one out. 
you know, I'm getting the feeling here that it may be closed. Monument closed because of strike. What is with these people and their strikes? <laughs> Explain that to me. Beautiful photos down here, though. I'm glad I walked to get some photos at least. And we will be on our way, I think. So, it looks like this is the closest we will get today. I guess we could walk up on the sand, maybe and get a little bit closer. Uh, but it is closed today due to strike, fortunately. And I guess we'll come back another time, maybe. See if we have time. Some people, there's quite a few people out here, by the way. Some people walking along the sand to get some better photos. I think we might try to do that. Get a nice little photo right here before we make our way onwards. Super cool that it's right along the sand beach. You know, you can walk right up to it. You want to touch the side of this building, maybe. And uh, close up this way. You can the leaves. Right off the water. All right, right up next to it. So nobody's braving the, uh, the rapids out here but me. So that's nice. I can get up nice and close. Get any water on my feet. Make my way onwards. It really is a beautiful tower to see from the outside and just past it, the Museo do Combatente. See if that one's open. And wash closets should be this way as well. Wash closets, toilets, apparently. <laughs> Start to drizzle again, so we shall see. Seems like it is five euro to see this museum as well. It is open. I have to figure out timing. And then he said the restroom's somewhere over here too. So we'll look for that. So we'll see I don't know if I've said it before, but I will say it again. I'm so against this pay to pee thing, you know? What happens if I don't have euros? I don't really carry around coins here. And I mean, that might be helpful, but uh, I have to go get currency converted and things like that. Something to think about in the future. <laughs> Moving onwards now to probably the train. Uh, because I'm thinking I only have so much time and Cash Kaish, the beach area, is further. I want to make the most of that time out there. Can always come back for this museum, come back for the tower, come back for the mat, come back for the pastries around here. Lots of options. And you have these guards on post here. Look at that. The Capella Memorial right here. Those guards posted. You know, it, it's kind of like what they do in the um, in uh, the United Kingdom. And interestingly enough, you've got them standing there. It does look like they can look around, <laughs> which they can't do in the UK. It's a little bit more free and flexible. But wow, very, very cool to see that out here as well. As we are walking towards the train, a nice little waterfront viewing area here. You can see we've got the road, the main road right there on our left. And the water, I'm sorry, we've got those backwards, main road now on our left. And the waterfront on our now right. Until we start walking forward again and then they're backwards. Walking along this road here, I'm almost to the station. I'm like 10 minutes early too, and I saw this beautiful looking building up here. It says Darwin's Cafe, or Darwin's on the building. I saw a Darwin's Cafe. I'm not sure if it's like a giant shopping mall, or it says Exhibition Hall from here, I can see in the distance. I'm gonna take a quick peek at that, and then I'll keep moving. Look at that walkway up top between the two buildings. Really, really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Not really sure what's going on here, but we'll take a peek. Oh, auditorium, right here you can see. So I asked, and it sounds like this is just an auditorium. They're doing conferences. Look at this beautiful view out behind these buildings here. Hopefully you can see that all right. Try to get that uh, light balance quite correct for you. Uh, walkway over above, he said it's just for research. I'm oh, kind of confused. And then I think there is some sort of garden or something. That he's like, oh yeah, you can walk in and see. In this other half of the building, I'll take a quick peek at that and then go back to the train walk. Yeah, it, it does just seem to be like a research foundation here. So I think we'll probably just keep moving. Uh, but still cool to walk around and see some of these large buildings, see the sites. So I believe this is an extension of the same research facility. You can see this is their pancreatic cancer center here. But I was thinking with the, when I read Baton, I kind of assumed like botanical. And this was the most green, at least of it. So I figured I'd share that with you as I continue my walk to the train. Looks like another tunnel to get to the train station. So. We're going to go through it, and we'll see on the other side, and they have that side closed, doing some construction, I guess. So, here we go. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to change course for now. Um, a little confused on payment for the train. Don't want to step on board if I haven't paid for it. And, um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll come back to this one, but I think I'm going to keep exploring this area. There's more I want to see out here, too, so maybe we can catch a boat. That would be nice. All right, so thus far, feeling pretty good. Had a lot of public transit here, although it's no Ireland. Uh, but the train felt the least fun to me. And again, confused on how to pay for it. Don't want to find myself in a position where I haven't paid for it and I'm getting some trouble. 
So I'm looking at the boats. The boats were my number one. I really want to check those out. Love to ride the trolley around town. I'm thinking maybe I could cross a few boats across the Tagus River and just enjoy those tours. Uh, I will say today went out the window a bit here. I um, certainly was not expecting all these changes of plans. So it's been a very much uh, unknown, off the cuff, go with the flow kind of unexpected sort of day. But that's all right, never hurts. Just browse, see what sounds good. You know, I got the free time here. Super, super thankful for it. May as well take advantage, walk around, explore. And I'm excited for these boats. You know, I was looking at doing a boat tour and I'm like, actually a friend had mentioned to me, she's like, oh, you can just take some of the public boats. It costs you like a buck 50 <laughs> instead of having someone take you around. And uh, you get to see and be on the water that way. So I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. So I'm gonna walk to the first one now on this side uh, over by Belay, and then maybe later I'll head to the ones closer to my side of town, Kaish de Sodre area or the inland area and uh, take advantage of those sites as well. We get to see these guys doing a bit of marching here. You can see they're changing post or something along those lines. So yeah, cool to see. You can see it's gotten even busier here along Bell M Tower. Quite busy on that little uh, island or viewpoint over that way. And people all standing out here taking some photos. Nice to see. I'm glad they're enjoying a beautiful sunny day. Oh, free bike tours. I passed by this as well. Free bike tours Lisbon. Maybe something for me to look into for another day. Ooh, and now the front of the castle covered in water. So you can't quite get there without getting soaked. But I did it when I could. Over on the other side of the street, the Centro Cultural de Belém continue walking forward towards the boat dock. Seems like the boat only comes every hour or two, so we're lucky. It seems like we'll be just five or ten minutes early, maybe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about arriving at the boat port. I think it's just over that way, and we shall wait for our boat ride, but we get a beautiful view of the water, walk alongside the water. In the meantime, some construction going on right there, so I'm glad I came in at this point, and we'll walk along the harbor the rest of the way. I must advise, again, caution alongside the water because it goes from flat surface to just ramp down into the water <laughs> right here. You think it add an extra step or two just in case, but I guess not. They've got some beautiful benches here as well, little tables for us to sit down, relax, wait for the boat, and here is our view of the water. I like to see it. And I forgot all about that Christ statue over that way. I don't remember exactly what that one is called. The Victorious or something like that. Uh, right across the Golden Gate Bridge looking thing. Beautiful to see that. Maybe we'll end up making our way over that way. That would be really cool to get a good look at. And stepping on board now, it's not quite as fun as an Uber boat in uh, the United Kingdom. But it'll still be cool. Way to see it from the water. Seems like you could take vehicles on this one and there's a staircase up here. I get the feeling this one is for coming down. So I guess I'll go up the other side like everybody else did. But it's cool to see. Oh, look at that. We got a great view of the, uh, what is it? Explorers. The statue of the Explorers as well.
well here in the water. A beautiful shot with these boats right here next to us as we're making our way across. <clears throat> Certainly an awesome way to check out more of Lisbon here across the Tagus River on the boat. I'm glad I did it. You know, the rain wasn't ideal. Maybe on one of those tours to be a little bit more luxurious, maybe more open air, but certainly cool to check it out this way too. Now, there's a couple challenges over here on this side of town. Buses look like they're coming maybe only 45 minutes, every 45 minutes to an hour. Love this view of the water though. Uh, in order to take us like a 30 minute walk to uh, somewhere else where I want to catch a trolley car. So I'm thinking maybe I'll walk up the streets. There's a restaurant right around this corner. I'm not sure if I want to have some of the stuff on the menu, but I'll take a look at least and that'll maybe pass some time before 55 minutes before this bus shows up or maybe i'll end up walking we shall see and i am getting soaked right here I just got soaked the phone got a little wet gotta watch out for that you're standing too close to the water oh i think drier back here but that was splashed me right on the side i don't know if you can see it so here is that little shop i was looking at um i, I don't know i feel like maybe i'll just keep walking and um head towards that trolley car if I can, although it's a, a good bit of walk in here. So it is not ideal, and things to note when you're visiting out here, check bus times and all that, seems like on this side of the river, a lot less common, and it's a lot more quiet in general, but that's okay, we're walking it, and we will get there eventually. And if you thought those last few streets were quiet, take a look at this. It's just one lane for a car, and that's it. Maybe two lanes for a car. But that's it. No houses, no shops, just walking. Interesting little snack bar here. One of the few shops we see along the way. Probably wouldn't walk this route in the future. Just not very pedestrianized. But we're getting a chance to see it on this side of the river, at least. All right, we have completed our long walk and it's looking to me like the tram that I thought I was gonna take, thought it was a trolley is more like the Lewis we took. So yeah, I don't know what you call it, a tram, perhaps. Not quite as fun and exciting as the trolley, I would say we took in town uh, to get to that Market de Enrique. But it'll still be nice, it'll get me from point to point. And uh, we'll get a chance to see that Christ monument. So let me tell you about that. It is called the Sanctuary of Christ the King. In case you haven't noticed, I do like some of my Christ things. <laughs> it's nice to be able to, if nothing else, hopefully you can enjoy as well. If nothing else, appreciate the architecture, the beauty, the amount of effort involved in creating these beautiful pieces of work. Uh, but there's, there's a lot uh, I like about those experiences and a lot I like to, be able to sit there and take that in. So we're gonna check that out. Christ the King here in Portugal. I think there's food up that way as well. So I think I'm gonna catch my trolley type or tram type you can see that up there should be the same sort of thing and once i'm there i'll grab food before i go to the monument i believe so we'll see how that goes this is what i mean by tram type you can see that pretty quiet actually that's nice but yeah it reminds me of the lewis in ireland just walking by and observed look at that pine cone something red in there i wonder if their pine cones are a little different from ours as we are walking right across the way now from the train station. We made it. It was a nice little ride. And now we're making our way to see if we can get some food and see those sights. It can be a bit of a maze to find our way around, but it looks like this staircase, and I've already taken a couple, but this staircase should get us to where we're going. In the final stretch of our walk here, I think it should be along the street, the restaurant we're looking for. If not, or if it's too small or something, we'll just keep walking. Would you look at that, y'all? Incredible viewpoint here. I love to see it. That skull statue out of us, a monument to Jesus. I've got a line. I'm saving it for later until after I eat and get closer. Here's that little castle looking thing. We'll have to figure out what that is. And right across the way is Tete a Tete. I think a restaurant with good reviews. So we'll give that one a shot, I think. All right, here we are sitting down for food and drinks at Tete a Tete. Part of me is thinking maybe I should try their uh, most famous beer here, Super Bock. So we'll see if I end up doing that. But uh, you've got food as well. She said, um, I actually don't know if she said like nachos and stuff are still available, but she did point to like these sections. Uh, so we'll see what sounds good for us. Nice little sandwich pesto could be good. 
we'll see how things go. All right, y'all, starting us off with the Super Bach here. This is 20 CL. I mean, she said this is the normal size. I'm like, this this seems uh, big to me. But uh, no, no, I guess I guess it does seem normal. It seems normal. I, I got the smallest one and she called it normal. And so I'm like, oh, I thought it was small. But yeah, it's, it's sizable compared to my expectation. Uh, here is the placement for buck 50. I mean, I feel like you have to, right? And there's your beautiful view behind us of the Christ statue. Uh, so, so excited to check that one out after quick lunch, water, and beer. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are. I've got the chicken paste a toast out here. It's a chicken paste sandwich and a super bock. <laughs> I got the 20 CL super bock because it was so cheap. It was 1.5 euros here and seven euros for the sandwich with this beautiful view right here behind us. I mean, incredible, right? Lisbon, you're doing it right. Keep it up. One more thing. I don't know if I mentioned, I thought this said chips. <laughs> you know, I probably said chips and I was like, oh, we were in UK, it's fries. It's actually chips here. But then I'm not sure they're using the garlic mayo. Do I put that on chips? I guess so, but a garlic mayo is always a win, you know, so it never hurts. A nice meal overall. Glad I stopped for it. Would come back here just for the convenience right across the way. I gotta say, garlic mayo is my favorite part there. The sandwich is pretty solid, and the chips, pretty decent as well. Nice spice on there. And I'm certainly enjoying my view, too. And, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at this building right here. Not really sure um, what this one is, but behind it is the Christ. Oh, it doesn't look like we can get in here because that's closed. So we'll walk around to get to the Christ building. All right, y'all, take a look at that beautiful Christ statue here. I'm glad we're making it over here to check this one out. I will say it's massive, so when you get close like this, it's really hard to appreciate it. I almost feel like you get a better appreciation from a distance, but I'm certainly gonna take a few steps around and try to get the best view I can here for us. Beautiful, we've got the climb to the terrace and the chapel this way and the mirador if you point this way. Uh, well, how do we start? I think, I mean, they're both, they're both up, so. May as well go up and explore and see where we end up. Have to appreciate all sides, the, all the beautiful sentiment, the artwork. You've got your mirror door, your little park here, but also I think few way down that way. Ah, it's a beautiful spot. Certainly appreciating it already. There's quite a line here, and I'm assuming that is for the cathedral as well as the climb to the terrace. Let's get across there, beautiful as well. We're gonna check out the viewpoint first and then I guess we'll get in line. Beautiful area all around us here. There he is. Take a look at that, y'all. Beautiful sight from here. And we have behind us these crosses, right? For carrying the cross, seems like they're turned sideways, like they would be on your back. And you have, this is just, again, a beautiful sculptures all around us here. Incredible place, that viewpoint ahead of us. Glad to be taking the time out here on this one, checking this one out. I was like, oh, do I trek all the way out here today? <laughs> Certainly worth a stop. Oh, I've got to tell y'all, I found Jesus on this trip. <laughs> I thought it was funny. So, oh my gosh, you know, I've certainly found Jesus on this trip. Beautiful viewpoint. So, so glad. I didn't know if I told you. I, I made this, took this trip just so I could find Jesus. And there he is. Really, really cool. See, again, beautiful view all around us here. You've got some ships out here in the distance. I gotta give you a, a full 360. It really is incredible. Uh, and so much to appreciate, indeed. Take a look at the harbor there beneath us. All the ships moving around down that way. You've got the Golden Gate equivalent. Wow, it looks awfully similar, I must say. And then uh, behind us, that main view. That's incredible. I'm wondering if that's where the lift takes people to go stand up there with him. I'm also not sure of that line tickets what those go for so maybe we'll look into that later but uh yeah beautiful views all around us here i'm glad we're checking it out truly is a beautiful view out here i love to see that bridge you may find there's trains that run underneath it so it's two levels of bridge there you've got the regular traffic up top just appreciating all these sites up here certainly worth a stop if you are in portugal i'm super glad i came out for this one maybe one of my favorite stops yet that we've made certainly appreciating the aesthetic, the beauty, the architecture, and the spirituality. I may have been a bit slow on this one, but I'm just now connecting that this woman right here is looking up at Christ, and, and she, he may be looking down at her, or at least outward in this direction, uh, towards perhaps all of Lisbon, too. But, uh, yeah, beautifully put together. 
And one more time, if you didn't get it, this is the Sanctuary of Christ the King in Portugal. Not to be confused with Christ the Redeemer in Brazil, but it made me think. I'm like, did Portugal do it first? Did Brazil do it first? They're both the two, you know, Portuguese-speaking countries. So it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Anyways, beautiful to see this one. Again, going to continue to appreciate it. And maybe I'll consider jumping in that line. Uh, we shall see. I feel like if people were going all the way up, you'd see, oh, you'd see them around that railing. Uh, I'm not quite sure, though. Is that movement up there? Is that birds? There might be birds. I don't tell. Um, but I don't know. Maybe they just go up to here, which would not be as, as thrilling, in my opinion, or worthwhile. Um, we shall see. Think about it. Christ here Christ to, uh, to make our way up to the top of the Christ the King viewing point. But uh, now we know, in case you uh, are thinking about it, bring cash. And that's euros, not dollars, by the way. OMG, what are the chances, y'all? I am pretty confident that, that is a Norwegian ship there. If you look at the decorations, probably either the breakaway or the getaway or something like that. And wow, very cool to see that heading in here. Ironic indeed, because that was us. Uh, not quite a week ago yet. And here I am looking on at it as it brings more people to Lisbon. Although, as I think about it, it's a little bit late in the day to be arriving in Lisbon. No? I mean, yeah, we wouldn't have too much day left. Unlike when we got here, it was early. My plan is to walk and find an open bench. Sit for a bit. It seems like I have to keep walking to find one. And I'll sit for a bit and take in beautiful views of this Mirador. Beautiful viewing area and all of the different angles to appreciate Christ the King here too as we're making our way. As we see the wake left behind by the cruise ship, also really interesting to see them sail beneath this bridge. I'm standing here to watch that before I go grab a seat. It must be built perfect height-wise, right, where the ship can slip just under the bridge. As I'm looking at it now, the spots I would have worried about the most, the, uh, the front of the ship, that little peak part right there, uh, going by with no problem, as you can tell. Uh, there's plenty of space. You can make a ship much bigger than that. And I was thinking about the smokestack, but now that I look at it, I don't think it should be an issue. There's plenty of room there. Tough for me to look at right now with the sun right on top of it, but you've got the sun just behind, or about to fall behind the Christ the King statue here. I keep forgetting what this one is called. I keep wanting to call it Christ the Redeemer. But uh, a beautiful sight as well. And you can see the sun is beginning to set here for us in Lisbon too. And if you look closely on our sight, off in the distance, the front face, I can't even see from here, there it is, the front face of the monument of the explorers. Yeah, I can't zoom that far, but uh, there it is looking out at us from here. So here's to all those explorers, maybe some of the explorers on the cruise ship, and to all of you explorers, thanks for being part of the adventure with me. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day. Hit that thumbs up button because you know you liked the video and the incredible views here today. I think this was the highlight of today, at the very least of today for me. It's not one of the highlights thus far. Again, really, really enjoyed this. And I'm just now seeing what looks like a nun at this building in front of us. A nun sculpture. I saw there was a sculpture here before. Wasn't quite sure what it was. So now I get the feeling that this is perhaps a... Help me out here, somebody. A monastery? Is that what you would call that? Probably making our way. But nice to see this one. Get a clearer picture of what's behind the Sanctuary of Christ the King. Which makes sense, right? If it's a church. But we want the monastery pretty close.
Oh, barely dodged the rain here. I wanted to check out that lighthouse, but I was trying to deal with my charge here. Just got off the bus. It was a fun bus ride. Nice and scenic. Unique kind of bus here too, right? We've, we've taken other buses. This one was much more of like a, a local bus. Oops. And the coverage ends here. So I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> you can see that hole in the ceiling. Like somebody took a bite. <laughs> I'm going to get over there in a minute to catch my boat. But, uh, you know, it's okay. I'm just going to give it a second. The rain has slowed down a bit. Although I'm kind of getting wet still from here. It's certainly better than if I were out there. And now in the rain to catch the boat back to Caes de Sodre. This is the one, uh, the other boat ride, right? Closer to inland I was referring to. I'm gonna put my phone away because it is still pouring out there, but I'm gonna enjoy the boat ride and I'll uh, have to let you know at some point how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, off the boat now at Kais de Sodre Terminal here. I've heard it's good to keep your eyes open. This is probably the most place of all to keep your eyes open just because it's so busy. But we'll take a look around, enjoy some beautiful views, and maybe check out the Time Out Market and pizza if I get a minute. We'll see what food looks like. And we are here, certainly has a different feel in Kais de Sodre here. I can see what my friend was referring to, but that is okay. We're gonna check out the Time Out Market if we can, maybe the pizzeria if we can, and uh, that will be the evening. Take a look here in the Time Out Market. Just walking in here, Mercado de Riviera. We're gonna take a look around, see what this one's all about. Take a look out here at this one, Time Out Market Lisboa. This one is huge. We've got plenty of options all around here in terms of food and drinks and so much more, depending upon what you like. Manteguiara right there. You get your pastel de nada. And I guess, uh, yeah, that's the one I saw a minute ago. And a variety of other things. Depends what you like, but certainly cool to check this one out. Now look at the seating though. That would be tight. So not sure if I'll get anything, but I am certainly going to enjoy the browse. So you can see these benches are pretty full, but I'm certainly enjoying walking around again, looking at the different shop options, seeing what kind of food they got. Just getting a feel for the vibe. I think if you were uh, spending some time out here and you liked and you didn't mind some crowds at least, this would be a good spot. Take a look at this port wine experience here. That one looks pretty cool. You got options depending upon what you're into. Again, it's not just foods with beverages and so much more. Glad I had a chance to check out that Time Out Market. Cool spot. I could see going sitting down for something. I was feeling it relaxed. You know, I don't mind all the, the busyness going on. Around the corner is my buddy's recommended a pizza place. So I'm gonna take a look at that, see if it looks good. As it turns out, the pizzeria is not open for another 10 minutes. So I'm just kind of walking around these streets. Maybe I'll browse this store, but I think there's something interesting uh, above as well or ahead in terms of a photo spot. So we shall see. So take a look at this line. It's for Elevador uh, da Bica there. It's like a photo spot, but it turns out it's just a trolley car, but it's a huge line uh, because I guess the trolley car is going to be going substantially uphill. I kind of feel like I went uphill in a trolley car, a car already. I, mean, I don't think I necessarily need to stand in a line for it, but um, interesting and cool to see here and good to note. Ah, this is interesting. If you see it in there, there's your, your cable car. So it's a bit of a different one. So people are gonna go straight up this way. And it's pretty cool, a national monument. Oh, would you look at that? And now taking a look, a really cool souvenir shop here. All kinds of unique stuff. You've got the tile magnets there. You've got the regular tiles there. Build your name, something like that, amongst other things. And a nice little shop, indeed. You've got some interesting uh, alcohol options. Look at that. You've got liquor de pastel de nada. Really cool. I've seen this a few times now. Sour cherry uh, liqueur. So that's interesting to see too. I'm not sure if that's a, a thing to try out here. And then sweatshirts and clothes up back there too. Nice to see your options. And at first I thought this upstairs was storage, but it seems like there's even more merchandise to look at up here. Nice to see indeed. Here is a look at the pizza menu. Uh, the place is filled up. You know, it was open when it was closed five minutes ago. So it must be good. I'm um, taking a look here at your different options. I don't feel like I need beer, but you know, you look at the prices, you're like, it's practically the same price, you know? Like this this draft two and a half versus like, I'm not even sure what that is. What is a sumo yao? Yeah, well, I have to Google. But look, it's more expensive. I don't know what to tell you. We'll, we'll think about it. 
So I am doing the Musa Blondi because it's two and a half euro versus everything else is more. <laughs> Why not give this one a shot? I think it said it was made with like raspberry and some other like a nice citrusy flavor. So we'll give it a shot and let you know. And that is nice, you know, floral and, uh, and fruity indeed. So if you don't love your darker beers, you like a floral and fruity, it's an option for you. So it is 6.20, 20 minutes after the opening, and the wait list has begun. Clearly a popular spot here. Ladies and gentlemen, to go with my beer, of course, because the beer is the main course, right? My ananas, ananas pizza? It's like bananas, but not spice, because there's no bananas whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. There's pineapple, there's bacon, there's, is that pickled onion and cilantro? It looked good on the menu. It's a spice level of one, uno. I'll give it a shot and let you know how it goes. Considering the wait list I am envisioning, it's a film-worthy reaction. Cheers. Mm. <coughs> oh yeah. That's a good recommendation. Nice and toasty. Fresh out the oven, clearly. Beautiful blend of flavors with the spices and the cilantro in there. Yeah, this is this is a great and a great option if you're in this area. If you want a pizza, I wasn't thinking pizza, but my buddy recommended it. Figured I'll give it a shot. It's a winner for sure. I think it said pineapple, but this seems like a mango sauce or something like that. Really, really tasty this one. I mean, again, beautiful blend blend of flavors. Up there with some of my best meals out here. Good recommendation for sure. The crust is extremely thin, extremely soft practically disappears when you pick up the pizza. Very tasty. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Again, it like kind of falls in on you. But big fan, flavor, well done, good pizza. So in case I didn't make it sufficiently clear, very good pizza, certainly enjoyed this one. I'm glad I had a chance to check it out and I'll be enjoying the remaining leftovers another time. But yes, I like their artwork too. Nice box art. Now I'm heading back home. And as the sun sets and we take in these beautiful buildings behind us and reflect on the day, it was a nice day. We made a lot of changes of path, a lot of chaos, a lot of unexpected turns, but had a great time while we were at it. And that's what it's all about, right? Enjoy life, make the most of it, right, right there. That's the message. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more fun coming your way. We've got a little bit more weekend fun and then another adventure in Europe ahead. Off to another destination. Can you guess where it is? Give it a shot in the comments below, and until next time, play on.